Well, I seem to have caught you in the middle of things. That's okay. I am finished. Well, it looks beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. I know Scott thinks I'm being a fanatic about this, but I figured if there's any place that could use a little holiday cheer, this was it. Yeah, I agree. We haven't even bought a tree yet, and if there was ever a year, it's now. What's up? Well, I just wanted to ask you your professional opinion about heredity. It's kind of a big subject. You want to narrow it down for me a little bit? Okay. <laughs> um, well, in my heart, I've never doubted that this child is Cruz's. But, well, I, I guess it would be a lie. I, I have had doubts. I can understand. Cruz and I have talked about it, though. And we will love this child, I, I mean, if it's ours, but if it turns out to be otherwise, Heather, the person who did this to me was really sick. I mean, he hurts people without remorse. What kind of child comes from that? You know, with all the instruments that we have now to watch a child grow and, and develop before it's born, we still don't have one that'll determine what it'll be. <laughs> But heredity does play a part. There's a constant debate over what creates a personality, even whether it's heredity or whether it's environment. Well, uh, which side of the debate are you on? Well, personally, I think that a loving home can be one of the best influences that anyone could have. Well, I agree with you, but then that's what I want to hear. You know? That's not why I'm saying it. There's examples all over the place, even. As a matter of fact, I'll go for a ride with me right now. Come on, where are you going? Well, you said you hadn't picked out your Christmas tree yet, right? Right. And I know just the place we can get you one. 